Historia imemtahaja rais wa kwanza wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mzee Jomo Kenyatta kwa mengi. Ameweza kutajwa na kuhusishwa na mambo mengi. Asoi kija kuhusiana na visa vya mapenzi. Ileo nataka tusamie kiza kimoja ambacho ni kisa akijawahi tajwa kwenye vyombo vya habari. Ni kisa ambacho kimesalia kuwa fiche sana. Eh Kenyatta was known to have a head Four wives, that is Grace Wahu Kenyatta, number two Hedna Clark, number three Wambohi Geshaga, number four was Ngina Kenyatta. But did you know that Kenyatta had a crush on, on a certain witch doctor called Mangret Jambi, but Mangret Jambi turned down the love for Kenyatta. Today, this is the story that you are bringing to you Margaret Jambi the witch doctor Jomo Kenyatta loved who drove Jomo Kenyatta crazy Margaret Jambi a revered and feared muganga and traditional healer was a big name in a in a Mudiga village in Kembu county although she died in the year 2017 aged over 120 years Kenyans learned about her in the year 2011 When citizen television tried filming her secretly, but the hidden cameras jammed four times, Jambi died on June 6th at Jamaa Mission Hospital in Buruburu, Nairobi County. Of her, 123 years, 60 years were spent as a, as a traditional healer. She was said to have gone blind in the year 1950s after declining to inherit the wizardly powers from her father, Karigewamoi. She accepted the powers in 1953 after which the blindness disappeared. When she tended to a first client, a woman from, from a dory who wanted to be unchained from a curse, her father died two years later. It is claimed that until her death, she had the sharpest high sight. Peter Mburu, eight years Her brother told the Nairobian he never liked his sister's occupation and even rejected her suggestions to take over the trade from her. Jambi had 15 grandchildren, about 20 great grandchildren and over 50 great great grandchildren, but only two children were named after her and one has since died. Jambi's family refuted claims that they feared naming their newly born girls after her. Interestingly, Jambi enjoyed Tusk and Guinness to kill boredom even when she turned 120 years. She would take two bottles for five days, mostly in her home, said a relative hiding that during the traditional rituals at her home, Brewood Muratina was in abundance. Now, Aloko recalled that her favorite drink was Citizen Special Ledger, but when it disappeared from the market, she shifted to Tusk and Guinness. At times she would visit pubs at Mudiga's shopping center. She was even once a guest of honor when a big pub was opened with fun fair at the shopping center some years back. A younger brother confirmed a love for the brewed staff and noted that in the last couple of months she had reduced to a half a guinness. Multiple sources and blood relations told the Nairobian that founding president Mzee Jomo Kenyatta once harbored ideas of marrying Jambi after her husband Samuel Gogi kicked her out following the death of their first two children in unexplained circumstances. Jambi had settled in marriage and from 1922 sired two children but they died while young prompting her husband to take her back to the in-laws she had refused to inherit the, the occupation from her father triggering some misfortunes explaining the family member jambi was not only treated as a traditional healer but a seer as well as and as well and was in high demand from tribal leaders who consulted her during calamities and to and to wand to ward off evil spirits as we refer to them in the swahili lang in the kikuyu language adwago or modomogo although jambi was a woman she was gifted 
to be a mondomogo. Jambi was said to have helped the Mau Mau top brass during the freedom struggle, and that was how a fame spread and came to the attention of Jomo Kenyatta, who headed the Gedongori Teachers Training College, Kenyan's first indigenous college. But Mui, a father, declined Jomo Kenyatta's advances on his daughter to be his second African wife, as he had already received the bride prize from her husband. One of Jambi's grandchildren told the Nairobian that Kenyatta left a disappointed man, but our grandfather was a strict adherer to Kikuyu traditions and could not allow it, and neither refund bride to his son-in-laws. Jambi went back to her late husband and sired two sons, but she remained a close friend of Kenyatta and his wife Grace Waho. In her rituals, she demanded a hundred note and three one shilling coins bearing Kenyatta's portrait that she tossed. Send her clients to get seven small sticks which she smeared with her saliva, then tossed. If the sticks separated, she would tell if one needed to pray to their God or seek forgiveness from people they wronged, said a relative. Those with serious problems like curses, robbery, or murders would be directed to scoop soil from a road junction and strings from busy markets for sacred rituals. Jambi paraphernalia remained the secret, but some of the stuff the Nairobian bumped into during their investigation before a barrio included calabashes, porcupine spikes, skin of a primate, old coins, a mirror and leg of a sharp crawled bird. Locals knew her as a medicine woman who woke up at 3 a.m. to pray, a fact acknowledged by locals and clerics from an Anglican Church of Kenya who presided over a barrio albeit castigating her occupation. Evangelist Titus Boro told the mourners he witnessed a prayer for an hour, but that Jambi never mentioned Jesus Christ. She spoke of God of Kerenyaga. Boro recalled, adding that he was once told by Jambi that I don't go for your followers. They come on their own, including your mother's union members at your church in Kino and line up here. Though on many instances she charged one or three, save for huge tasks like winding off curses protection, one from enemies would cost 700 to 2,000. Shoshu Jambi or Jambi Mondomogo, which doctor, who as she was foundly known, did not die a poor woman. Her two-story buildings were built by an Asian man whose wife she helped conceive and the other by a local businessman she helped win a court case. A German connected tapped water to her home. When their problems were solved, they came back with gifts. Some promised to buy her a car, but she declined. A client bought her a 85,000 iPad, but it was stolen, and she did not care to follow it up. She did not know how to use it. Jambi remains in history also left behind rentals with income of 50,000 Kenyan shillings a month, prime land and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of cash in a bank account of a friend she trusted. Attempts to coerce her to write a will on a deathbed born of fruit. Interestingly, 1994, Jambi was injured by a cow and sought help from a witch doctor but fell in the hands of a corn who alleged she had broken glasses and dark beetle in her body. She lost 700 to him and decided to get treatment from a hospital. The first time she stepped inside an hospital it was in the year 1994. Hmm? So this is the story of the woman and the witch doctor that our first president, Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, was in love with. And the woman declined to marry the Jomo Kenyatta. And the family also made sure that Jomo Kenyatta did not marry Jambi. That's it for now. Rodwani Roru Gano Roa Jambi, Mangret Jambi, Mondomogo, who 
refused to marry the first president of the Republic of Kenya, Mze Jomo Kenyatta. What is your take? Leave a comment on the comment section. See you in the next one. This is FM Shoke E. Nakipindi Ewani. Ni the drums of history. Mimi, ni ite F. Game Wonder.